Hello there, welcome back. Uh, in this screencast, I'm going to talk about CSS specificity. Now, CSS, uh, the specificity means that if multiple CSS rules apply to a single element, which rule will be applied or which properties from that rule will be applied. So, in that case, we use something called as specificity. It's the more specific the rule is, the more uh, chances that it, they, it's applied. Now, before we do that, we just need to know a little basics about wh what is the rule weight assigned to each of the selectors. In an earlier screencast, we saw that there are three basic types of selectors. We had the class selector. Let me just... Uh, preface this over here that so that we can just see what's going on so the three basic types of selectors we saw earlier were element or we can also call it as type selector okay and then we had the second one which was a class selector these are the basic types of selectors and the third one is an ID selector now uh, the more specific the selector, the higher the weight is. For example, if I have an element on which I have an ID, a class, and the element itself, the ID selector gets applied because it is more specific. Because I told you ID is unique, so it is more specific. It cannot be shared by multiple elements. And then comes the class because class can be shared by a group of elements it's more specific than the element itself because the element is more general and the class selector is more specific so the class and then the lowest of them is the element selector so the, this is the this is the order in which is assigned now to make our life easier we assign a weight to each of these selectors so that when we start working on whenever multiple selectors apply we calculate the weight for each of these selectors and then decide which one will be applied so the basic rule is an ID selector is assign a weight of 100 whereas a class selector is assign a weight of 10 and an element selector is assigned a weight of 1 the formula the golden formula that we use for calculating the specificity is we multiply 100 with the number of ID IDs inside the selector and then we add it to 10 multiplied by the number of classes within the selector and then we multiply it 1 with the number of elements mentioned in the, in the selector so this is the formula that we use to calculate the specificity of a rule or, or, or specificity of a selector let's go on and see some examples over here now suppose uh, let's work on the first part over here first and then we go on to a more complex one later on let's do some simple selectors first and then we go on to the complex one as you can see over here I have a div tag with an ID main and a class container inside that we ha I have a paragraph tag with ID foo and two classes called bar and boo and that's it now let's uh, I have a set of specific questions over here so that I can practice them one by one now let's see the first one uh, let's see the first one in this question as you can see okay let's not remove both of them I'll just simply remove this and place it over here now in the first one as you can see I have a P paragraph which is an element selector and assign the color red and bar which assigns the color blue if you go to the HTML page both of them apply to this sentence over here because it's inside the paragraph and it's also part of the class boo so both of them apply over here but you have to decide now which one is selected so f looking at the formula that we had since this is an element the weight for this is one because one element zero classes zero IDs so the weight is one whereas this one we have a class bar so over here it will be one zero and zero so the weight is ten so this one has a higher weightage than this one so we'll see in our rendering that our paragraph is of color blue not red because it has a higher priority or a higher specificity than the other one okay so this was about question number one this was a simple one because we're just comparing 
classes as I already told you that class has a higher priority than element so it was obviously very easy let's go on to another one let's see this one in this question we have we have a selector that says the body and I'm using space as the combinator so whenever I use space space means it's a descendant selector that means any paragraph appearing under the body will be applied the color red okay whereas this one says a class uh, an element with a class boo will be applied the color blue now I can see that again we use the same formula to calculate the weight over here we have one and two elements so replacing it in the formula we will get the value 2 so there are two elements zero classes zero IDs so we get 2 similar to this one which is only one class and the weight of one class is 10 so the total weight is 10 so 10 and 2 so we know that this one is more specific because it has a higher weightage so again if we go back we'll see that the color is still blue it didn't change because this will be applied and not this one okay let's put that back and let's go on to the third question over here in this question we have an ID selector main I'm going to apply it to ID main and another one which says body and space that means again descendant so any any item containing a container a class container within the body so if we go over here and see we have body and within inside that I have a class container so it's going to apply to anything inside this diff tag uh, inside this diff tag yeah and the other selector said that anything with ID main so this one so again both are same so it's conflicting so I now have to choose which one will be applied now again if we use the same rule we'll see that the first one has one ID selector which has a weight of 100 where the other one we have one element and one class so over here the weight will be 1 plus 10 so it will be 11 so 100 versus 11 again 100 wins so if we go back we'll see that it becomes red now because ID has the highest weightage over here okay well that was simple enough now let's go to our question number 4 we have a few simple questions over here just to get uh, started over here again you see I have one ID one ID to foo and the other one says body container and P so this time I am using two uh, descendant selectors first in body inside body I'm looking for anything with the class container inside the container I'm looking any paragraph so if you look at this tree over here first it's body inside body I'm looking for anything with con class container which is here and inside that I'm looking for any paragraph so it should be this looking at the other one which says that anything with ID foo so if we look go back this is ID foo over here so this is again applied to the same line so now we have to decide that which one will be applied now let's calculate the weight again the weight over here is 100 one ID selector which is 100 the other one we have one element selector so one plus so we, sorry we have two element selectors P and body so it's one plus one that is two and then we have one class selector which is 10 so 10 plus 2 which is 12 so again 100 versus 12 100 wins and then the color still remains red okay so this is how we calculate it no matter how difficult it is if they apply to the same element we can calculate the weight of both of them and still search for which one applies to it let's see question number five we have six questions I guess on this uh, simple uh, diff tag over here we have two of them container inside container any paragraph inside diff any class with uh, uh, any class any element with class boo so again I think this is the same thing this 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 is the same line that will be affected over here any paragraph or any line so again we calculate the weight we say that this one will be 10 plus 1 which is 11 over here we have div which is an element so 1 plus class which is 10 so 11 so now we have something new we saw that both of them now are conflicting we have this one which is 11 and this one which is also 11 they are conflicting now in this case whenever two selectors 
I have the same level of specificity we choose the one that appears the last we're going to see in the next screencast how the order of mentioning a selector affects uh, affects which one will be selected okay so in this case we will see that the order is important and the lower the last one defined will be the one that is applied so was here the color is blue so when we go back the it's, it's turned to blue now okay so in case of both of the selectors have the same weightage we look for the order we cannot be on the same order so it's always resolved in that case the sixth one over here have something like this we have a div p dot bar and then over here we have a dot container and p now there's one important thing that we haven't actually considered up till now which says that if I have container space p I'm looking for descendants right but over here I have d but p it doesn't have any space it's like p dot bar this actually means I'm looking for a paragraph with a class of bar if I put a space between them that means I'm looking for a paragraph I'm looking for a class bar which is inside paragraph is under paragraph but if there is no space between them that means I'm looking for a paragraph with the class bar okay so that's it now but the weight system remains the same it doesn't it doesn't affect the weightage so let's calculate the weight uh, both of them apply to the same one let's see the div I'm looking for a paragraph within the div with the class bar so if you go to the HTML I'm looking for a paragraph with class bar within a div so this is the same thing that is going to be affected and again if I go back over here I'll see that container P so that means I'm looking for a paragraph within uh, an element with the class container so this is the class container and any any paragraph within that element so this is the P that is selected so both of them apply to the same one so now I have to choose which one is applied let's use the weighted system again we have div which is of weight 1 we have paragraph which is again of weight 1 1 plus 1 becomes 2 and then we have a class which is weight 10 so it's 12 the total becomes 12 over here we have a class which is 10 and then we have a paragraph which is 1 so it becomes 11 and the color becomes red okay because this one has a higher weightage 12 and 11 so this was the last one from the simple uh, questions now we have a big one we have we're going to see uh, how this one is going to be applied this one is for this part of the HTML uh, DOM tree where we have a div with ID page wrap within that I have an unordered list with ID summer drinks and then within that I have li which is whiskey and ginger again I got this from the internet the example so that's why I didn't change anything although we should not put these names anyways so we have a list item which is the first list item and the class is favorite and the second list item with no classes and the third list item with mean mint julep so this is an unordered list now let's go back and see our CSS selectors the first selector over here says favorite anything that is of class favorite so that means it will be applied to the first this element the second one in the other case says UL I told you if there is no space that means I'm looking for an unordered list with the ID summer drinks so an unordered list with the ID summer drinks here there is a space so I'm looking for a list item list item inside an unordered with list with ID summer drinks so over here I have see unordered list with ID summer drinks I'm looking something inside the list item inside it so this the other selector is going to be applied to all of them so it also include this one so that's it's a conflict now the next one over here is the same one except that I'm just inside the list item I'm looking again there is no space so I'm looking for a list item with the class favorite so again it's going to be applied to only the first one so all of them are going to affect the first one and there is this long one which has HTML body div with page wrap inside that an unordered list with ID summer drinks inside that a list item with favorite now it's going like a like a selector from the whole tree I'm, I'm 
body inside that body I am looking for a div with ID page wrap inside that I'm looking for a UL with ID summer drinks inside that I'm looking for a list item with class favorite so that's 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 this that's a very specific selector so I, I'm, I'm, I trace the whole tree not a good idea to put in in a rule but since we are just practicing we'll see which one will be applied now let's calculate the rules calculate the weightage for each of them let's say over here is just a class selector so I'm going to write the weights over here so that like we remember each of them so over here I had just one class so it's like 10 multiplied by 1 so my value is 11 uh, sorry 10 sorry sorry about that the next one over here I'm going to close my comment the next one over here is uh, let's say I have 1 2 so I have two elements so it's going to be 1 multiplied by the number which is 2 and then I have one ID so it's going to be 100 multiplied by 1 so this total becomes 100 plus 2 which is 102 okay which is higher than the previous one so I'm expecting it to be uh, this size to be applied to it but again let's go back further we see this one the weightage of this one is again we have UL and li so these are two elements so it's going to be 1 multiplied by 2 okay and then plus and then I have how many IDs one ID so it's going to be 100 we can put it in order I'm just like doing it randomly plus how many classes we have one class which is dot favorite so I'm going to 10 multiplied by 1 so it's going to be 10 plus 100 plus 2 so it's 112 okay so, so it's 112, 102 and 10 so this one up till now this one is winning which is of the highest now let's go back to the last one which is uh, how many elements do I have HTML is an element 1, 2, div is an element 3, 4 and 5 so I have 5 elements so 1, one multiplied by 5 plus how many IDs do I have page wrap is an ID that's on that's the only ID I have so I'm going to say 100 100 multiplied by 1 and then plus how many classes do I have just one again which is favorite so it's going to be 10 multiplied by 1 so if you see the total it's going to be 100 plus 10 110 and 5 into 1 is 5 so it's the total is 115 so see if I'm tracing it I become more specific so this way you see I'm, I'm getting more specific now and th this selector is going to be applied so if you see all of them they have different colors color red black yellow and blue and this one has a high, bigger size and it's bolder so uh, so it should be when we go back you see it's a bigger size blue and it's bolder than the other ones okay so and you see the other ones are not affected because the other ones this style is applied for the others sorry this slide is applied this one is applied because this applies to all list elements and you can see over here it says that the color will be black the font size is 12 and the font weight that is the boldness is normal so you can see that over here it becomes very small which is 12 pixels over here okay so this is how we calculate the weights of each of the selectors and then we assign them the rules assign them the properties again repeating them there are three basic types of selectors each of them have separate weights elements has a weight of 1 uh, classes have a weight of 10 and IDs have a weight of 100 for each of the selectors you are asked to compare what you will do is you have you multiply the number of IDs within the selector with 100 then add it to the number of classes in a, in a selector with 10 and then add it to the number of elements in the selector with 1 and this total will give you the specificity of that selector then you compare the specificity of all selectors that apply to the same element which the one that has the higher uh, value will be applied so this is the basics about CSS specificity in the next screencast we're going to see how specificity is one of the one of the rules one of the, one of the chains one of the what do you say 
priority tree one of the elements within the priority tree and there are others which actually trump them so uh, specificity is one of them there are others as well as you saw one of them was order just now there are others as well we are going to see that that tree uh, in the next screencast thank you very much